Hello everyone, um, it's your boy Nico here and today I'm gonna be showing you guys how to get fossils and like uncover them and like get a Pokemon out of them basically, you know, the whole fossil thingy. Um, I haven't seen like that many tutorials on YouTube but regarding this so I was like yeah I'm gonna show you guys because I, I used to have a couple of Pixelmon that I got from fossils on my own. So um, the easiest way to find a fossil is like just looking at the bottom of the ocean, getting down there and like mining it with a pickaxe, which like that's the, the probably the easiest thing to do. Like the, also you can find a fossil between some gravel blocks, I guess, but this is a much, much easier way to do it. And this is how I got all of my fossil Pokemon and like, I was so happy when I got a freaking Aerodactyl, dude, like that was, I was so happy. So, um, yeah, let's just get into this, let's get a, let's find one, and then I'm gonna show you guys how to do the rest of the things, basically, right? So, like, all you wanna do is just, like, jump in the water and, like, bob on the freaking surface, um, until you see a dark, a dark spot in the, in the ocean, like, if this thing takes too long to to find i'm gonna fast forward a part of the video and like just just get to the part where i actually found one so you guys can see and like not watch like the freaking the freaking goddamn afk bobbin in the water but yeah just like it's kind of hard to notice but like you'll you'll know that you found a fossil when you see like a darker spot in the in the middle of the sand <laughs> Okay, I think I got it. I think there, there is the fossil there. Like, all you want to do right now is just like get down there in the water, right? It is kind of hard to see at the beginning, I guess. But um, wait. Um, if you want to prevent drowning. What? Okay, yeah. You just gotta do this. Um, and there's a fossil there. As you can see. Yeah, this wasn't like the cleanest escape from drowning, but yeah, that's what you do. And then you dig out a fossil and let's take one big gulp of air again and just get out. Get out of the water and get to the other part of the, the, the video. I mean, this kind of wasn't like the cleanest thing again, I said again. It's kind of tricky to get down there and freaking, you know, hold your breath for that long, but I mean, it's doable, definitely. As as you can see that I did. Um, And then, all you do is like get to the freaking, um, get to the, the surface, of course, get to the land. And um, yeah, I'll, um, I'll I'll show you the rest in in a minute. Okay, so now, uh, when you when you got your fossil, it's you get a covered fossil. When you get a covered fossil, you need to use the fossil cleaner and the fossil machine, right? So I'm gonna put the the both recipes in the in the video. Like you're, I'm gonna put the recipe on the screen definitely. So um. I'm gonna show you like the how to make the the fossil cleaner first and like what you do with it. So basically, I mean, I'm not gonna show you like the thing's gonna be in the video, right? But yeah, once you make it, you just right click this thing and it's gonna spin a little bit. And after it spins a little bit, um, it's gonna clean it, right? So um, every single time, it's a random fossil drop and it like all the fossils have like the same chance of like getting right of dropping so we got a, a root fossil i believe that's a lilip and also uh, okay yeah what, what you do next is just like put the fossil in the fossil cleaner which is also gonna be here in the video the recipe for it i mean so yeah okay so your options are helix fossil which is ammonite basically 
there's a doom fossil which is a kabuto there's an old amber which is aerodactyl which is like my top favorite definitely there's a root fossil which is a lilip there's a claw which is an anorith a skull an armor fossil containing cranidos and shielden a cover and plume containing the tertuga and arkin and there's a jaw and a sail fossil containing tyrant and amora basically so right now you just gotta wait for this to happen and like once it does you just um put a pokeball and yeah you get you get a pokeball and like take your pokemon in the pokeball right i have a pokeball on me so i'm gonna like get one real quick um give me a moment it doesn't matter which one whoa it doesn't matter which one you get it's it's like all whatever and yeah you just gotta wait wait this thing out and once you weigh it out, um, you just get the thing and and you're good. Okay, um, I'm probably also gonna fast forward this bad boy right now because like n nobody ain't got time for waiting this this monkey ass um fossil machine to clean the thing to make the Pokemon out of it. But um, yeah. Okay, let's just let's just like freaking wait for the thing to 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 do its its stuff, and then we're gonna go back into this. Right? Okay. Two thousand years later. Okay, the thing is finally done, dude. And, um, okay, right now, as you can see, it reaches 100% and it just says insert Pokeball, right? So, right click it. And you can retrieve a Pokemon. Okay, it's it's in, in my PC, so I gotta get it out real quick. Give me a second. I, I, I totally forgot about it. I'm sorry. Um, PC. Let's go there. Um... There's a Lilip that we got. It's a level one Lilip, and um, let's let's check its stats real quick, dude. So um, okay, I mean it's a regular Lilip basically, which has astonishing constrict. Um, it's it has a huge growth. I'm not sure like if every single one of those has a huge growth, but um, yeah, that thing is like actually that's not that big, dude. What the hell? Okay, anyway, um, so. Basically, let's just repeat this process once again so you guys can, um, so you, let's just go through it once again, right? So you go to the ocean and watch the ocean, look look at the bottom of the ocean for like a, basically a blur in the sand, for like a stain in the sand, go down there, use a pickaxe to mine the thing and use like the place, um, this, you have to place the, the, the stones and like a torch for, for, oxygen purposes like if you're drowning let me show you again so all you gotta do is like get two stones right here or whatever how many and just like when you when you're drowning just place a torch right here and it's gonna break and you get your oxygen right See? it's a pretty simple thing i'm pretty sure everybody knows it but yeah so once you get your fossil out of the water like you need to make a fossil cleaner and a fossil machine that i already show you how to make i guess in the video and um then you just put the clean fossil in the fossil machine wait it out get the pokeball insert your fo your newly created pokemon into a pokeball and you're good to go so that's a pretty simple process um i hope you enjoyed the video if you did if you did make sure to leave a like maybe a comment or subscribe to my channel maybe check out my other pixelmon videos because i've, I've been doing tutorials on those for, for a couple of days now, um, and yeah, that's pretty much it, if you have any questions regarding this, make sure to ask me in the comments down below, share this video with your friends, and I will be seeing you in the next one, so thank you so much for watching everybody, Nico loves you, have a great day, and see you next time, bye bye.